Today I'm here with legendary Jim Bones to talk about two different setups or approaches to using a foil drive. Well, how big is the board? Four foot four. And volume? 33 liter. Okay, so you use your foil drive with a big battery and you have it installed somewhere in the middle and you're laying down with your belly here or you're no, laying on top? on elbows. Oh, okay, so this is under your chest somehow. Yeah. Okay, and the rest of your body is kind of trailing in the water here, kind of bodyboard style. Excellent. And so you go out, it, I see you, you like to e-foil your way out, if yes. you can. Yes. So how do you get on the e-foil? Do you need to catch a little bump or something? Uh, it helps to catch a bump, but if it's flat water, you, you can, can get You can do up. that, yeah, you go maximum speed, then what's the procedure? Knees first, or? Uh, mostly make the board level. Yes. Then speed, Yeah. then come up. Come up like in one pop or knees uh, first? Usually one knee, yeah. two hands, and then, then bring the other leg. Very good. And at that point, and we now check the position of your pod, it is low enough on the mass that you can e foil skimming, sometimes sputtering, but you can e foil your way out yes. to the waves. Yes. When you see a wave that you like, you carve on it, yes. and then you let go with the trigger and try to stay as high as possible so you don't hit the pod yes. and ride the wave. Do you often eat the pods on, and on the, that you feel? No, no, you, with the long mast, you, okay. you try and not hit the pod. Yes. Well, how long is this mast? 85. 85. Yeah, very good. And another thing I noticed is that uh, that's an 1125. You said you're going down to 925. But I don't think you can do much smaller than that if you want to do the e-foil out style. Am yes. I right? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You I'm, still got to find I'm out. I'm still learning. And now I'm going to move to my board to show a completely different approach how to use the foil drive. Because in my case, I do big board and smaller foil. Yeah, I'm going to move over there. Thank you, Jim. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Aloha. Aloha. So board is much bigger. This particular one, I'm, I'm always changing, changing stuff. It's 5.2 and 26 and 90 liters. And I have a paddle. So I am totally into the stand-up paddle style. Now, where, look where my... Um, pod is so far up on the mast that when I'm flying I never ever feel it of course I couldn't do the efoil stuff and I don't want to do the efoil stuff because I don't want to burn my battery right away he changes a lot more battery than me actually I only have one he has five or six and um, another massive difference I'm here on the 740 f1 phantom s and so that's the other reason why I don't want to e-fold, because I can't e-fold on the 74, but I can grip once I catch a wave. And the other bigger difference, I think, is the position of the battery box. This is roughly on top of my front foil, and that's, I think, where you want to have it, because you, 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 you're always riding your front foil, like it's riding between your legs. So when you pump and do this, at least the uh, the battery box the weight is right in the middle of the lever that goes up and down it's not on any of the two ends and i can do this because again i go out sitting on the board or even on the box depending on the board and uh, at 40 percent speed slowly and i get to the waves then i stand up and it's fairly easy on such a board i can actually be completely standing and keep paddling with the 40 percent of power then when i see a wave i put the fit in the straps turn around and catch the wave 100 percent and then I ride it without uh, the foil drive and without interference from this. The only thing that remains of the foil drive is the eight pounds of weight, which um, I feel them, but um, I can use much smaller board. My regular shop foiling board is 110 liters. So this one, I've, go, I've gone down to 65 liters. It's a lot of work, but then on the wave, it's really fun. So those are two different approaches and they're all good there's no one that is better than another it's just down to the personal preferences as usual um. Um. practicing yoga pose and meditation and admiring tomoko gently carving on her barracuda board this nice little way. There you go. Yeah, girl. I'm filming you. Sick. That was so beautiful. Comes a nice size. Gonna check on the guy. Gonna miss it. 
so I make sure that I'm not shedding with the other guys so better for both and these are the turns why I love using a 740 instead of a bigger one carving 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 little touchdown but quick release if I had to spray I would spray you <laughs> I don't know how to do that yet Tommy See what this wave is gonna do on the inside. Not much so far. I see a building over there though. Let's see. Compliments, I'm getting compliments. It's a freaking fall. So good. All right. If you have a full drive, uh, do like Bones and me. Try to stay away from the regular subfoiler and um, make sure you catch waves that they cannot catch or you stay away from that because you can't mix in the lineup. Otherwise, it's just too much of a disadvantage for them. Thank you very much.